Within the Atma, your soul, there's some specific nature. Sanatana Goswami describes this. Sanatana Goswami's Brihad Bhagavatamrita is the first Goswami literature. He was the guru, really, of all the Goswamis. And he described that this nature is fixed. There will be some taste or tendency within your Atma, your soul. And as you practice Bhakti, this will start to manifest or arise. And according to that taste, you will go into different kinds of sadhu sangha. So sometimes your guru may be general, giving you general facility. Generally, our guru is like our Swami Prabhupada, our guru, they, they give general facilitation for our, all kinds of sadhakas, practitioners, according to their various tastes. Our guru, they, he had some Ram Bhaktas, disciples, and he said, oh, your goal is Ram. He said, I approve this. I'm giving you Ram deities to worship. Why? I can see in your Atma, you are Ram Bhakta. Very good. So in the land of Brindavan, this is Krishna's own realm. Krishna's eternal Brindavan. In Brindavan, this is only for those people who just want to be with Krishna, to love Krishna. This realm of Brindavan is not where Krishna is enforcing everyone to serve him. This is not pure love. It's an important thing to understand. Vrindavan is where all the jivas who have become mukta liberated, as well as all the eternal associates of the Lord and the direct expansions of Lord Balaram and Shrimati Radharani, all the cowherd boys, all the gopas, gopis, they're all eternally present in their divine dance of love for Sri Krishna. According to your nature, if you are desiring that, it's described by Sanatana Goswami in our Guru Varga. If you're inclined towards that, it means there must be something within you that is drawing you in that direction. So you may think, oh, it's like a choice. I'm choosing this. But who knows what is your choice and what is... Like if I were to ask you, what flavor of ice cream do you want tonight? And I give you 10 options. You're going to pick one. Which one are you going to pick? The one that you have taste for. Right? So you have a tendency, a nature... That gives you an inclination, like in our path, it's described even by flowers you can understand. What kind of flower do you like? What kind of mood? What kind of fragrance? You can see something in your nature according to those things.